I'm Anil Kumar. We are actually doing review of trigonometry grade 11 with the students now. I thought let me share with you the solutions of these questions with students online. Now here we have question number 21 page 410. A regular octagon is inscribed inside a circle with a radius of 14 centimeters. The perimeter is you are given four choices. You can pause the video, do the calculations, find the answer. Now how are we going to do it? So let us say this is our octagon. Let me make one, right? So, so we have already got so many sides and kind of, let's do it like this. Okay, so it's not that bad. Anyway, so that is our regular octagon. And uh, let us say that is the triangle we will look into. We need to find the perimeter. You can join all of them also, correct? So approximately you get one section or triangle and what are you given? You are given in this case that's inscribed inside a circle. That means the radius is 14, right? So this length is 14, correct? So that is what you are given. Centimeters, correct? So the radius is 14. You need to find the perimeter. That means you need to find each side. And there are eight of these sides. How are you going to find it? One way is you have an isosceles triangle, find the angle. So let's find the angle first and then um, do the rest. Okay, so how do you find the angle of a regular octagon? Well, full angle is 360. So let's say angle theta is equals to 360 degrees divided by 8, right? Since uh, there are 8 triangles within this. Okay, so 360 divided by 8 is equals to 45 degrees. So we get 45 degrees as as the angle here. Now you can you can do a couple of things. One, since you know this is 45 degrees, you can use cosine law to find the side A, right? So A will be, let me write A square first, will be equals to 14 square plus 14 square minus 2 times both the sides, right? 14 times 14 times cos of the angle within which is 45 degrees right 45 degrees so this is one way of doing it so let's calculate and then we'll find the answer we'll multiply this by 8 correct so we have 14 square plus 14 square minus 2 times 14 square cos of 45 degrees is equal to how much it is 114.81, right? So it is 114.81. Now we can do square root of this to get A. So A is equal to square root of 114.81, right? So that is square root of the answer equals to 10.71. So it's reasonable, right? 10.71 is reasonable. It looks to be lesser than 14. Okay, now what is the perimeter? So we get perimeter as 8 times A. So it is 8 times 10.71. So let's multiply this 10.71 by 8 to get the answer. 85.72. So 85.72. That matches with option C. So that is how you can find the answer, right? And of course it has to be in centimeters since all these units are in centimeters. Right. So that's the way to do it. I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.